How's it going everybody? Today I have a demonstration and how to video of the latest module by Jake's Custom Shop. This one's really awesome. I'm super excited about it. It's the MIDI to CV converter. It has four note polyphony. You can change the mode for up to six control voltage and gate outputs. You can even chain up to six of these modules together. That's right, 36 control voltage outputs. Each of the 11 modes that this thing has offers you MIDI effects, control voltage outputs, of course, gates, uh, MIDI clock, and even a MIDI through. Needless to say, this thing packs quite the punch if you're into polyphonic composition, complex sequences, control voltage control, or maybe you just have plain old bad gas and you know, like a lot of oscillators in your modular synth. We'll get started here. I'll show you how it works, how to set it up, and all the functionality and a couple of the things you can do with it. I certainly can't show them all because this thing has so many different capabilities. Four note polyphonic setup is super easy. First, set your keyboard on MIDI channel one. Connect the MIDI cable from the keyboard to the URAC module. Now press four notes on the keyboard and you should see all four LEDs light up on the MIDI to CV module. Now I'll simply patch in some VCOs and you're good to go. Module layout. The module is laid out into rows and columns. Each row is labeled as one through six. The columns are labeled as B through D. Um, column B is mostly control voltage. Column C is mostly MIDI effects. And column D is mostly gates. These functions will change when you change the mode of operation. Mode change table. At first, it might look really complicated, but it's not so bad when you break it down. On the left, we have the different rows and column names of each port on the URAC module. On the bottom, we have the MIDI channels that are color coded and correspond to each function. Below that is overflow information. We only use overflow when chaining modules together. Here's an example of using the table for mode 4PV so we can have four note polyphony. On the table, navigate to column 4PV. And you can quickly see that the MIDI pitch outputs are located on ports B1, 2, 3, and 4, and then their corresponding gate outputs are on ports D1, 2, 3, and 4. MIDI effects are located on column C. You have pitch bend, modulation, velocity, resonance, and cutoff. An auxiliary gate is located at port D5. Uh, this is on MIDI channel 16. A MIDI clock is located on port D6, which is standard across most of the modes. MIDI mode changes. Start by plugging in the USB to MIDI adapter into your computer. Connect the USB adapter to the TRS adapter. Now plug that into your URAC module. And then navigate to jakescustomshop.com and find the MIDI mode changing tool. The easiest way is to go through the product listing page. The link will also be in the description of this video. Click scan, select the USB MIDI device, and then click on whatever mode change you would like. Uh, we'll choose six. All seven of the LEDs on the module should flash once. Thank <laughs> you. 